Thank you for taking the time to have a look at the video for Flash making a radar. This is the summary video, I guess. This is the shorter version of the big hour-long one. Um, if you're interested in watching that one, check the link below. Otherwise, this is to show you the final product. So once you're done, you see a couple of blips, and uh, they, these two here, they move towards you when the radar comes out. And that gives you the idea that, okay, I'm this little ship in the middle, I've got these two guys traveling towards me, even though I can see there's three other ships somewhere in the back, and then the further away you've got some other things. So, to rewind and tell you how we kind of made all this, let's just go back in time and have a look at the uh, initial storyboards on the whiteboard. So, initially we talked about how does the ship move, where is it moving, is it moving forward, alright, if it's moving forward, then obviously enemies are coming down at it. Uh, if you were making it a little bit... Um, more like space invaders, you would have the ship here and the space invaders, they travel from the left to the right, from the right to the left, etc. until they got to your position because if you've got your phone turned sideways then you obviously need to do something a little bit different to, to get that going. Um, and we slowly kind of worked through this and, and looked at a couple of examples that, that exist online such as, uh, this is an example from the uh, Elite uh, game, which is an old game um, and here is the actual um, radar that was in that game, which which is a phenomenal uh, idea in itself. So we then we had to look for a video for that. This is from another game, and here's some footage from Elite. And to pause it to show you, these little guys here are the uh, ships being or, or objects that are being shown in three dimensions. So by, by changing shape, it tells you whether it's above or below you, and based on its location to um, the middle of the radar here, you know what's going on. So this is more, more of a mini-map since it's in real time. Uh, radars as they stand are a little bit more delayed because they have some kind of delay on them that forces them to do that. So we looked at the whiteboard again and we said, well, if these ships are traveling towards us and we're here uh, flying towards them, maybe we can make the ship have the ability to turn. And that means that we can actually have it rotate around the world and, and navigate through these different fields. As such, our field of view on the radar would be probably just that V shape here that we have. And that would allow us to have a bit of an idea of what's ahead of the player and give them space to maybe turn the ship to the right and avoid these asteroid fields that are in front of them. Uh, from a level design point of view, we, we discussed that obviously if that's the asteroid field, we can let the player navigate it on the left or on the right to avoid it. Uh, but if they do avoid it on the right, they might run into some other ships. Uh, if they go on the left, they might run into some other ships. So there's a, there's a bit of useful uh, radar information that's going to make them navigate out of the way of these two and just in between them to reach their final destination. That's the that's the objective of the radar. It's to, to help them make decisions and the decisions obviously are to get them closer to the objective which is sometimes a, a map uh, like this that they see ahead of time otherwise they're flying blind and their objective is just get to the planet it's somewhere ahead of you um, and good luck. So we worked through all this stuff uh, and, and got got to the point where we, we could fire up Flash and start working on things. Um, the exciting parts of this are that, that, you know, in Flash we get to bring in all those sketches that we did on the whiteboard as background images. Uh, you just need to take a photo of them, bring them into Photoshop, and crop them into what you need them to be. And you just place them as a layer in the background. So it's, it's pretty straightforward allows you to then draw shapes on top of it, so in this case we've got the circle shape that we're drawing on top of it. Um, and as we kind of progress, let's just see if we can we can get the video playback here a little bit faster. Where's my playback button? There it is. Speed faster. Um, and so generally speaking what you want to be doing here is just creating all of the different shapes that you need and put them onto separate layers so that you've got a bit more control. Um, you don't need to name them yet, but you do want to name them eventually because having them named will just make it easier for you to edit stuff.
you can see us making the ship dots there and getting those on on the board well that's that's actually the, the middle point at the moment right um, just fast forwarding a few things here that's getting the triangle shape in so that we can see our field of view important to kind of know what's going on there so we make out of that square shape we just kind of make a, a little V shape here got more of those little uh, sketches that we did from the whiteboard as reference so we can kind of jump ahead and start trying to recreate these little asteroid fields we have a discussion about whether those dots should be bigger or smaller in the foreground or the background so we work through a couple of concepts of this is the ones with the bigger ones in the middle uh, those are the ones with the smaller ones further away so we try to make different versions of this and then we decide eventually that that's what we want we want the inner dots to be bigger and the outer dots to be smaller uh, and then we've got our field of view so it, it pretty much gets us going into this area here where we start to experiment with having you know some of these animate and having a little bit more control over what we're doing um, we can also change some of these so that they're a little bit different uh, we decided that that's that's the way we want it to be we want it to be a, a pulsing um, radar so it pulses out from the middle and reveals what's in front of us so to do that we need to do a few things to it such as set up these rings um, to come out from the middle so there's a little movie clip that is the blip the movie clip basically has that animation of those circles just coming out from the middle and that gives us that little effect here which uh, effectively tells the player that from their ship outwards they're getting some updates but we don't see enough at the moment of what's going on um, in terms of the ships traveling so we're going to need to move them into a movie clip as well just so that we can actually uh, animate those to give the illusion of what's going to be happening in the real radar because eventually if you build this in the game this will be used as the working prototype that the programmers would then make actually work so that the ships would be real ships as opposed to these simulated ships that we're showing here in this uh, demonstration as you can see you got the different ships on the different layers so that you get an idea of alright what's going on here is that we've got every single one of these ships you know, having a, a separate layer so that we can animate them separately and then once we're in there and we can kind of get the blip action we're going to copy that out of the blip here only for reference so that we can see where the ring is um, and because of that what what we can do is we can just get the line up the rings navigating outwards from the ship and actually hitting the ship the enemy ships or asteroids and when they're in the middle of them, that's what we agreed to do, um, they will appear. So until that point, we don't see them. And then the moment we see them, the moment that ring travels through the positions where those ships are, we get to actually see them and, and have them pop in so that we can reveal them. So you can see that same step for uh, ship 3 and ship 4 and 5 getting hit by that and getting revealed. So that's that's the the basics of it but now if you wanted to make it a little bit more interesting the ships could actually animate in so what we do is we just make them pop in um, by having them you know half the size and then going to be a little bit bigger and then going back to the normal size so a few experiments here uh, making that a guide layer so it doesn't get in the way as well and and figuring out that maybe that popping is a little bit too big so making that half the size of that um, and then making it slightly bigger once we get one of these popping uh, animations in to a level that you're happy with, uh, you can then start to consider what else you want to do with the other ones. You want to have the same effect on them. Um, and if you do, you can pretty much jump ahead here um, and just replicate that for the second ship. So same numbers get typed in. And once they pop in, what we can do is is pretty much uh, replicate that effect for all the other ships so that's kind of what happens next so if we jump ahead you can see ship 3 and 4 have that effect on it and then finally ship 5 is going to have that same effect added to it All right. now to continue this what we want to do is the radar is going to continue to scan outwards 
and when it scans outwards what we're going to do is we're going to move ship 1 and 2 forward so they're just going to jump a little bit forward um, to give us the illusion that they're actually getting closer to us so what we're going to do is move those guys into the same position as um, the blip radar will be so we just do that Move them down a little bit. And once we're happy with that, we can we can pretty much I'll just jump ahead, uh, do that for the second one as well. So get a ruler down there so that we can actually see the same middle point. And just move those guys into the exact position that that was in. So now hopefully when it, the blip goes through it the second time you'll see that the ships move forward um, while all the other ships remain where they were. And that's your final animation. So this is your radar. It's, it, it took uh, an hour in, from sketches to final concept. The actual building of it was about half an hour. So give yourself that time to get it right. And that's all you kind of need to do for, for the elements. Once you've proven this, then it's pretty much up to the programmers to take this and build it into a functioning thing where the code's moving the dots and the blips uh, notifying the code what it's scanning at that time and then either revealing them or not. But from an animation point of view, your job is done because you've established how it should look visually and therefore the programmer who could be working with you on this will have a visual reference for being able to recreate that. So yeah, good luck with that and thanks for watching.